Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to unlock the Pro League in Nintendo Switch Sports. If you guys do find this video useful and you do enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, share it with your friends as well, so you guys can help other people, you know, unlock the Pro League in Nintendo Switch Sports. And let me know what your favorite sport is so far. Also, be sure to subscribe for more Nintendo content here on the channel. Okay, so first things first, how do you unlock Pro League? It's actually not that complicated. All you got to do is go to online multiplayer and then go ahead and play 10 matches in whatever uh, sport that you want to unlock Pro League for. So for example, if it's bowling, you play 10 online matches in bowling, and then after the 10th match, you'll get a little notification up on screen telling you that you've unlocked the Pro League for that sport, and it'll show you exactly how you know the whole Pro League works. There's a whole ranking system, a letter system. You know, you can go from E minus to E to E plus, uh, D minus, D, D plus, and so on and so forth, right? So each letter essentially has three, right? Uh, three different kind of uh, subcategories, if you will. Of course, the minus, the normal letter, and then the plus, kind of like you would see in a schooling grade system, if you will. And you get all the way to the, the very top. It's like climbing a ladder. So again, if you want to unlock it, you have to play 10 online matches in a specific sport. Now, that's not going to unlock it for all the sports. So if you unlock it for bowling, you're not going to have, have it unlocked for anything else. So you're going to have to play 10 online matches for each single one if you want to unlock the Pro League for every single sport. That's going to be a total of 60 online matches, 10 per sport, because at the time of recording this, there is six sports. Of course, they're going to be adding golf later on this year, and then you'll have to do, assumingly, another. 10 for that as well but what if you don't want to play in the ranked pool at any point you just want to go back to the kind of normal casual pool uh, well you can go to the bottom right corner of the main kind of settings uh, area in the global play globally kind of uh, section menu if you will bottom right there's a little gear icon you click that you click user settings and then you go down to pro league and uh, when you go to pro league settings you can see if there's any of the ones you haven't unlocked yet then it's not going to show but the ones for me for example have unlocked bowling and soccer at this point you can go ahead and turn it off and click uh, pause pro so if you pause pro then at that point you're just going to take a break from the league so it actually says in the pro leagues wins and losses determine your ranking if you take a break from a league you will not gain or lose ranking during that time so that's kind of the main idea too right is so you don't you know lose any kind of ranking if you just want to play casually and not have to worry about your rank being affected you can pause the pro um, I don't know if that specifically puts you in a different pool I, I would assume that as you climb the ranks in the, the ladder or the leaderboards and you get to like let's say a rank for example that you're going to play against more a rank people and if you turn that off it's going to be kind of more of a, a bigger pool i don't know how the matchmaking specifically works but again that's kind of you know how it works in theory so hopefully that helped you guys out if it did like i said leave it a like subscribe for more nintendo content here on the channel and i'll see you guys soon another one let me know what your favorite sport is so far in nintendo switch sports and until the next one friends game on and thanks for watching